All right, everybody. It's Jaden here from Hooper's Corner back again. Today, we're going to be looking at the player every NBA team should shop at the trade deadline. If you missed my last week's video, we talked about three targets for every single NBA team who they should go and get at the trade deadline. Now, we're looking at who the teams should get rid of. We have a picture of Bradley Beal and Ben Simmons in here. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting one. Here we go. Let's get into the first team. The Atlanta Hawks, John Collins. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. So obviously John Collins wants to be one of the main guys in the offense. And I don't think he's going to get that role at Atlanta. But then you got to think about who has the assets to make something like this happen. You'd argue maybe the Kings, maybe the Sixers, but this, do the Sixers necessarily want him for a Ben Simmons? I don't know. Interesting. I don't know. Will this happen? I doubt it. Can can it something? Can this happen? Maybe. I I don't know. This this is something to look for. Look look for the trade deadline for sure. Marcus Smart. I don't think so. I just don't think that Marcus Smart is someone that the Celtics should look to shop around because what he does is he gives them playmaking and he gives them perimeter defense. Something that I don't know if they will get back in return for someone like Marcus Smart. Um. I, I don't know. He he's he's had a down season, I'd say, but I don't think that they'll. I don't think realistically you'll get any guys back that make hit like the Celtics like automatic championship contenders. Obviously, you have the two guy, two main guys there, Jalen and Jason, and he's like the third guy of the Celtics. But to shopping him around and trading him for. I don't even know who they could trade him for to, to elevate the ceiling of this team. The Nets, Nicholas Claxton. This is interesting. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I, I just don't know. I just don't know if this is a wise thing to do. Do they need a better five? Sure. Can they get one for like Nick Claxton, a couple of young guys? I don't think so. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. The, so far, these three have been a little... Uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. The Charlotte Hornets, PJ Washington. Interesting. Okay, I don't, I don't know. It's in, it's, it's interesting because PJ has, I don't know. He's played okay this season. He hasn't like played amazingly. I do think that um, the 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 Hornets do have a lot of assets to get rid of at the trade deadline. PJ, I think that Gordon Hayward's on the block as well. Uh, Mason Plumlee's on the block too. So there's a lot of guys that the the Hornets could create a package around to get a ceiling elevating guy. Um, so yeah, no, I do, I do definitely agree that this guy is, is, is one of the guys that they can definitely get rid of. Patrick Williams. I don't know. I don't think that that's a wise thing to do. May I don't know. Maybe he doesn't fit the timeline and that's why Bleacher Report has put him here. The Bulls genuinely could be title contenders next season, right? Um, let's say for example, they get Jeremy Grant from the Pistons. Patrick Williams would be a great fit on the Pistons, especially with their timeline. But do they give up their future to win it all right now? I think that maybe they do, especially with the ages of like you guys like Vucevic, um, uh, Lonzo and, and, and all those guys. I don't, ah, DeRozan, of course. I don't know. This will be interesting. Genuinely interesting. If Patrick, move, if he does move, if Pat, if Patrick Williams does move, it's because the Bulls want to get a win now guy. Is Jeremy Grant that win now guy? Maybe. Maybe. If the Bulls can give him a bigger role in the offense, and maybe. Colin Sexton. Cleveland Cavaliers. I think this is probably the main, like, the most obvious guy that the Cavs can move out and get some value for. Um... Obviously, a healthy Colin Sexton would be fantastic for this Cavs team. But man, Darius Garland has been fantastic this season. And if they can get something back for this for, for Colin Sexton, oh man, like the Cavs have gone from like shit to, to one of the most high upside teams in the league. And I think that he could be an essential piece in a package to, to get these guys where they want it, like to get these guys to genuine contention and a genuine playoff team. Jalen Brunson, I don't know. Do they, uh, man, do they do this? Jalen Brunson is has been decent this season. I think that if they can get something back for him of genuine value, I think so. Obviously, the Mavs want to get that number three guy right. And I don't believe that Jalen Brunson um, is good enough to be a number three guy in this Mavericks team. So whether or not they can create a package surrounding him 
uh, Dorian Finney-Smith maybe, uh, maybe another guy, whoever that guy is, couple picks maybe, and then get something genuinely like amazing back for him. Yeah, fair enough. Zeke Naji. I'm not going to really talk about much on this guy. I don't know too much about him. As a, I haven't watched a lot of Denver basketball. Uh, if you're a Denver fan, maybe you can tell me more about him and whether or not he's a good choice for this shopping list. Jeremy Grant. Yeah, man. I just don't think that Jeremy Grant will stay at the Pistons. Again, he doesn't fit the timeline and I think he's ready to win now. He, I think he's ready to go into a situation where he genuinely could contend for, for a chip. And I think that there are teams around the league that are looking at Jeremy Grant and thinking this guy can give us some massive upside in terms of um, both defensively and offensively on the wing. So I do think that this guy is genuinely going somewhere. I, If he's still a Detroit Piston after the trade deadline, I'll be very surprised. James Wiseman for the Warriors. Uh, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think that they're going to shop. I don't Honestly, I don't think they're shopping any guys um, for this trade deadline. I don't think that he's one of them either. So I'm just going to move on from this one. Christian Wood. Yeah, okay, I see it. I genuinely see it. Like, again, 26 years old doesn't really fit the timeline of the Rockets. Obviously, the Rockets are in a big rebuild. Um, and I do think that, think that he can go to a team, like a win now team, teams that I can think that for, for him to go to. Maybe the Raptors. You know, like he could be an interesting piece there. It, essentially, it all comes down to which team has the best package of young guys and picks to give to the Rockets for Christian Wood. That's what it'll come down to. Domantas Sabonis. Yeah, well, there's like three guys that could be shopped around him. Miles Turner, Karis LeVert. Um, and I don't think it's going to take a lot to get any of these guys from the Pacers. Um, look, man, Domantas Sabonis could go literally anywhere. I think I like the Kings fit for him most. Um, he's been shopped around to the Wizards. I know the Wizards are inquiring about him. For some reason, the Lakers are inquiring about him, but he lit they literally have nothing to give. Um, but yeah, man, like literally one of the, like one or two of the three, Sabonis, Turner, um, Levert will, won't be on the Pacers team post trade deadline. Marcus Morris Sr. for the Clippers. I think that the Clippers need to do something, man. They just need to do something because they are running with their bench unit right now. And then again, whether or not they have the, the assets to make something happen to where they're uh, in like a winning situation right now is yet to be seen. And I don't think they do. I do think the Clippers will make the play-in and then maybe the playoffs from the play-ins, but I just don't think they'll do anything post that. The Lakers, THT, he's the only asset they have uh, maybe Kendrick Nunn as well but he's the only asset they have and I don't think he necessarily raises the ceiling for any teams I think that he could go to the Rockets maybe if you do like a, a THT Kendrick Nunn a couple picks for Christian Wood maybe that's something that entices the the Rockets but I don't think that's the case Kyle Anderson for the Grizzlies sure and I, I don't know I don't know I don't really have much to say about this one other than sure KZ Okpala for the Heat. I don't, does, does anyone really want him? Can you get anything for him that really does anything for the Heat? The, the Heat are in a win now situation. And anything they get back from him will maybe be like a coppers. Maybe a, a, a cap filler in a second. I don't, I don't know. Dante DiVincenzo for the Bucks. This is interesting. Because, uh, man, he was good, man. What did they do with him? I don't know. Because before injury, he was good. Like, he was good, good. So, yeah, I, I don't know. What are the Bucks going to do? Probably need, a, as I said in the other video, they need a five. Or at least a five that they can put in rotation from f for Brook when he comes back. Is he a piece you can, like, couple a package around? Sure. Who's going to want him? I don't know. The Timberwolves, Jaden McDaniels? Sure. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I don't know. Is is he is he a guy that um that you, that realistically other teams are really gonna like clamor for? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. As I said, the T was interesting because they genuinely could be something. Not if not this season next, but um yeah, I don't know. Jackson Hayes for the Pelicans. I don't know. This is interesting because as I said, Pelicans don't really have a lot to be excited for. Do they have? Do they have assets? Sure. Does this team get better when Zion comes back? Immensely. Do they need to do anything right now with the situation they're in? I don't think so. I think that 
if they i don't know i, I just don't think they're, they're gonna do anything and even if they make the play in let's say i don't think they will i don't know i just don't know obi Toppin for the knicks yeah sure sure i mean why not right i don't think that he's a ceiling raiser for them i think that he's a decent rotation player i do think that if the knicks can get maybe put him evan fournier maybe kemba in a trade package it'd be interesting to see what you can get for that i don't know what the knicks do man kenrick williams for the thunder i do think that yeah sure yeah, definitely i think that the warriors are a great place for him to go and he, he genuinely raises the warrior ceiling maybe i'm just really high on him but yeah I, I think that this is a decent pick for the thunder mo bamba for the magic yeah sure i think that there's a lot of guys that they can s shop around mo bamba gary harris terrence ross i think that gary harris and terrence ross are going to contending teams I think that Mobamba would be an interesting pick for maybe someone like the oh I mean, who 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 are we thinking for for Mo? There've been talks around the Pistons. I don't know. Yeah, sure, but I don't know. Maybe the man who really needs someone like Mo. Maybe the Raptors. Maybe. Oh, I don't think it'll take a lot to get him either. I don't know. Whoever needs a five, and if they're if they're willing to sort of let him grow ben sim ah this this was the most obvious thing and i don't think it's gonna happen i genuinely don't think that daryl morey i think he's maybe he's waiting out for james harden do something in the offseason maybe do like a sign and trade type of thing ben simmons at the on the nets would be super interesting because think about it you have him at the one Kyrie on the at the two kd will still be there maybe probably hopefully and you have a really decent team there and all you had to give up was james harden i think that'd be interesting jalen smith really yeah, sure. Yeah, they have DeAndre Ayton. I don't know. I am. I don't. Maybe I'm too high on Jalen Smith. Maybe I am. I don't know. Sure. What can you get back for him? It'll be wait and see. If you can get come back, can if you can get back, genuinely like someone that you can slot into the rotation. I don't think you're gonna get a starter from obviously, but if you can get someone that can slot into the rotation and then sort of go from there, yeah, sure. Why not? CJ, really? CJ wow yeah maybe but i just don't think that the blazers are gonna get anyone back for like i don't think you have a uh, a cj a, a, a trade surrounding cj for someone like a ben simmons like I, I, I don't think that cj is rated highly enough for that for that sort of all-star caliber like not also like superstar caliber player i think that you can get a star for cj but I think that the Blazers want a superstar for CJ. And I don't think the pair up with Dame. And I don't think that's going to happen. Harrison Barnes for the Kings. Yeah, sure. There's a lot of guys you can say for the Kings as well. Harrison Barnes, Buddy Heald, um, Marvin Bagley III. Like, there's a lot of guys that they can trade. And there's, and there's some genuinely good pieces that they can get back for a trade. Like, I think that, DeMont as I said before, DeMontis Sabonis would be a great fit for the Kings um i know that the kings went after ben simmons and they turned that down so like i mean look the kings have great great players that they can put in a package we're just gonna sort of wait and see i do think that they need to do something like they genuinely like they just need to do anything to shake up this roster because right now it's not working i think with with guys like like De'Aaron fox he's genuinely a guy that i see in the future like as one of the top five point guards in the league and if they can sort of shift their roster around his timeline, sure. Or do the Kings just go, fuck it, let's get some picks and tank for the rest of the season? I don't know. Wait to be seen. Derek White for the Spurs? Yeah, sure. I don't know what the Spurs want to do. They can do whatever they want. I, and they'll probably still not want to rebuild. Chris Boucher for the Raptors? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Why not? I think, you know what? The It's like the, Rap the Raptors aren't rebuilding. But they're not like i don't think they're in win now mode either so i think they're just like building out this roster to sort of gel um gel their guys together and then and then go from there i don't know yeah sure whatever joe ingles for the jazz yeah definitely i don't i don't think as i said I, I i don't necessarily think the jazz have a lot of assets that they can move around and genuinely give them something like a win now situation right realistically the jazz need a wing that can defend and shoot uh, who that guy is, I don't know. Joe Ingles is not that guy that can defend and sh he can shoot, but I don't know if he can defend. He's also one, I believe he's on an expiring 
uh, deal as well. So they'll either have to let him go for nothing or just pay him in the offseason. I don't think they're going to pay him, especially at the age that he's at. So yeah, yeah, fuck it, why not? And last but not least, the Washington Wizards, Bradley Beal. Okay, let's talk about this. Um, yeah, so Bradley Beal, he's up for a, uh, a super max extension in the offseason. Ah. Uh, Do I want to do this as a Wizards fan? Depends what we get back. Because the Wizards are so forward heavy. I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know. You, you trade Bradley Beal, you lose that, that scoring edge. I don't think Spencer Dinwiddie is that is this goal scoring, uh, this, this bucket getting guard that can replace Bradley Beal. Can Bradley Beal be the number one on a championship contending team? No. Can he be the number two on a championship contending team? Yes. Can you get uh, a, a, a floor, a ceiling raiser for all the other assets in Washington? Yeah, maybe. I don't think so. The guys that are being talked about, DeMontis Sabonis doesn't raise the ceiling. Uh, Jeremy Grant doesn't raise the ceiling either. Who do the Wizards need? The Wizards need a, sh a small forward and a point guard. They need a playmaking point guard. Who that guy is, I don't know if that guy is out there. Or that guy out, oh, maybe that guy is out there and I don't think they're available. Does, let's say, okay, let's talk about it, right? Does does the Ben Simmons, Bradley Beal trade work for both parties? Yeah, sure. Is Bradley Beal a great number two to sit next to, to Joel Embiid? Definitely. Does Ben Simmons raise the Wizards in ways? Sure. It definitely raises the perimeter defending. Playmaking. He's that playmaking perimeter defending guard. Can guard one through five purely due to his size. Is a, t is a Wizards team of Simmons, Dinwiddie. At the, maybe you play Dinwiddie at the two. Uh, Kuzma, Gafford, whoever that three whoever you play at the three is ah sure maybe uh, denny at the three is that an interesting wizards team i don't think so if you're gonna try i don't think that bradley beal is gonna get traded purely because of the talk coming out of washington is that the gm tommy shepherd wants to re like like wants to build this team around bradley beal can you build a championship team around Bradley Beal? No. Is he gonna be the worth? Is he gonna be the wor worth the five-year supermax? I don't think so. I'm hinging on I don't think. I love Bradley Beal. Ten seasons at Washington. I love Bradley Beal. Genuinely, that's my guy. But he's not the number one guy on a championship team. If the Wizards aren't going. To try, if the Wizards are content being like the eighth seed every year, sure, Bradley Beal's your number one guy. But right now, they're not even that. So, you know what? I don't think it's going to happen. Can a deal get done? Sure. What do you get back in return? If it's Ben Simmons, who realistically right now looks like the only guy that you can get that is somewhat of a... a I want to say superstar level, but on the same level as Bradley Beal. You look at Bradley Beal, Bradley Beal's an all-star. But what the Wizards need if they want to pair Bradley Beal and make it a championship team is a superstar. Is a superstar going to come to Washington? Probably not. Let's be realistic. Probably not. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. That is one player that every NBA team should shop at the trade deadline. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment down below. If I talked about your team, which I did because I talked about every 30, all 30 teams in the NBA, what do you think about the guy that Bleacher Report thinks that your team should shop? Is there another guy that you think your team should shop? And if there is, leave it in the comment section down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions. Click subscribe. If you're new here to Hooper's Corner, we do videos just like this one every single week. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. See the bandage on my face uh, Wanna lie, the city, that's my place uh, Don't you touch the money, that's my case uh, Ride around the city like you know the place Killing everybody like you know the base uh, Stealing all the cars, then you go race